and uh, where they go. Knight's table just a bit sluggish to begin, as was Question Master. Big Fella jumped away really quickly and sets the early fractions with Treasure Hunt back in second, Sandbank, Woodland Ridge, and Red William on the far side. Then came Lord Varus, four lengths off the leader, maybe a little bit more than that, followed by Climate Control, then Euphoric. Further back to Windsock, racing seven or eight lengths off them with Knight's Table and Question Mark at the back two. They reach the far turn, they've got just over 1,100 metres to go and Big Fella controls the gallop out in front, led it by just under two lengths. Racing second is Red William, in third is Sandbank, then came Treasure Hunt and Lord Varus. Woodland Ridge races further back in the field, followed by Euphoric, seven, eight lengths off them. Then only came the favourite Climate Control, who's got nine lengths to make up question. Master and Knight's Table is the back marker. Homeward bound, down the straight they come, approach the 600 metre marker, Big Fella led by two. Lord Varus has got into the race very quickly, lies in second. Towards the outside is Sandbank, then came Red William. They followed further back by Euphoric. Climate Control is in all sorts of bother at the moment. Got seven, eight lengths to make up, 400 metres out. Big Fella is the leader. Now Lord Varus comes into the race with Red William. Further back to Sandbank and Euphoric. Towards the outside is Treasure Hunt, but Lord Varus has picked it up. Red William on the stand side is a big runner, and Red William is swooped on by her. And Red William goes for home with Treasure Hunt, the nearest challenger. It's Red William from Treasure Hunt inside the closing stages. Red William will beat home Treasure Hunt. Third will go to Euphoric. Then came Question Master. Behind that was Lord Varus Winsock. Further back in the field was Sandbank. Then came further down the field, the uh, Knight's Table. Climate Control was almost pulled up at the line. Had so much work to do. In fact, dropped back halfway through the race was never a factor today, climate control. And the back marker would be the early leader, Big Fella, that dropped away in the closing stages. Here's a look at the head-on replay. Big Fella is about to give way to Lord Varus. You'll see Red William is making steady progress, two off the right-hand side. And Red William storms up to Lord Varus, hit the front 300 metres out. And it's going to be Red William from Treasure Hunt inside the closing stages. Well done to Glenn Cotson. Well done to the breeders. Stonehill stud nominee Heinrich Ricks. Red William wins the opening leg of the place accumulator. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Fairview this afternoon. Race two on the card. Glenn Cotson, when he rides, we always tell you, watch out. This horse has been here for a couple of races and a deserving winner this afternoon, Red William. Standing with me is Mazzino. He is the groom, looks after the individual, 1,500 rand, courtesy of Will Sports Betting. Very, very well done. Take that with you. Let's go to the jockeys standing by. It's such a lack of vibe on course this afternoon. Raymond, coming to the picture. Let's chat to Raymond. And um, I must say that when we saw it in the parade, he moved to post as well. Glenn's horses are always fit. You know the horse as well. And uh, I thought he rode a cracker. But before I even go on to the horse itself, let's touch on the course. It's the first time we're racing on the turf in quite some time, Ray. Quite a lot of work has gone into this. And uh, from us up here, it looks like a carpet. How's it racing? It's like you said, it's a carpet. I mean, uh, the, obviously, it is a little gift to the ground. Um, it's uh, nice and even all over. I think wherever you go for a run today, you also will, every will have every chance. I mean, from the, from the canter down to the jump to the finish, it was spot on. All right, now two runs back, you won by seven lengths on the same horse at Fairview on the poly. Yes, uh, there was a, a, quite a bad maiden, um, and it was a little bit further. Today it was a little bit on the short side for him, but I think in his favour was that he was drawn a little wide. Um, I could use him up early. Um, he's a horse that needs to gallop, and uh, I picked him up quite early. I think I hit the front about 550, almost 600 to go, just to get him into his gear. Um, and once he hit the front, there was no horse that even came close to him. And I, I felt that if there was something that came at the end, he would have found another gear. All right, very well done to you. Great way to start your day. Yeah, big thank you to, obviously, Mr. Cotson, to Chair, to Tracy, the whole team. I mean, everyone's here today. Um, they've been here since Wednesday, I think. So. So they are uh, obviously having a nice time. I'm just glad that we could win our first run of the day and hopefully we can win many more. All right, well done, well said. And a uh, big thank you to my sponsor, Winning Form. That's uh, Winning Form sponsors, Raymond Danielson. Let's go to Glenn Cotson as a man that uh, I'll go back many, many years with. Nice to have Glenn back in the winner's thank box. You, thank you. At least 25 years of doing this. And uh, Glenn, great to have you Yeah, We always talk about how well you raid. Not all trainers always raid so well, but you've always had the gift to be able to raid. So when people buy horses and you look and you want horses to go from centre to centre, look no further than Glenn Cotson. He can raid with horses, that I can tell you. Glenn, very well done. That's a kind compliment, thank you. All right, coming to the races, great expectations. I mean, obviously, we've got today, we've got Sunday, everything involved. This is our big weekend. Uh, racing in the west in the Eastern Cape 
but um, you must have been confident about Red Wheeling. You know that uh, we had nominated him and uh, we hummed an arch, we run him, and we had a think tank together and uh, Chad says the more work this horse gets, the better he is, like, you've got to try and run him. So uh, I've just first of all got to thank Sharon Cotson and her team, uh, Megan and Greg, uh, they did a fabulous job in, in keeping this horse ticking over. Um, he pulled up 100% fine and it was a no-brainer if, if he was fine, you know, let's, let's try and run him. Um, it's nice to have winners on this, on this double header. It's, it's a meeting that we love supporting every year. The people are great and it's fantastic. So just uh, very, very well done to them. Of course, Raymond rode a super race. And uh, yeah, so it was a great team effort. Um, to Heineck Rex, yeah, congratulations to the owners, Liz and Roz. They're on an absolute roll. They fully uh, beat the boys in Cape Town in that little feature the other day. And uh, yeah, I'm just so, so grateful to them. They, they're great supporters of the game, love it. Now, for race seven today, you've got number five, Hats Pride. Your comment to Nadine when you spoke to her was, you'd be disappointed if not in the first three. Yeah, I think that, uh, that Brett Crawford's Colts got some really solid form. The, um, the, there's two, two or three very smart uh, uh, horses from PE. Uh, we try on the mile for the first time. Um, on pedigree, it should, shouldn't be a problem. We've taken the blinkers off. Um, he's, a, he's a little horse that's just progressively getting better and better. Uh, it's a race that we try and target uh, every year, and um, he was one that put his hand up. Uh, he was coming right at the right time, so uh, we thought we'd have a crack at it. All right, now don't run away. Let's get the, all the K's in here. Come, the entire Cotton <laughs> family, they're all standing by. Come, guys, come, Kathy. Go, we go, Kai and Kyra. Just also... Into the picture. This, is the, this is the Cotson racing team. I'm going to move out the way, <laughs> because days like this makes everybody arrive. Look at that guy. Oh, Zoom in, get everybody in there. And there we go. Look at that. It speaks a million words, and racing is what it's about. The Glenn Cotson family has been around for a long time, going way back to Kathy's mom, everybody involved in racing, the roots of Glenn Cotson. It's a household name. Well done to you guys. It's wonderful having you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. And to our sponsors, Wilsville's Betting, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Well said. And with that, we'll say well done to the Glen Cotson Stable, and we'll be back shortly. Let's not forget the next race coming up is the first leg of this afternoon's Big Six.